All right, welcome back. Let's uh, continue where we left off. Uh, we still have the chairman of Aqua uh, United on the line, Paul Bassi. Uh, let me allow you to continue with your train of thoughts and uh, what you were saying before we went on that break. Yes, that, that, that uh, train of thought has been completed with the channel <laughs> Skip Cup. Fantastic, uh, <laughs> fantastic uh, concept. Please pick it up. I'm always excited when I see it. Well, I, I was talking about the league and to say that um, it's been tough. It's been tough, but we're happy with where we are. Uh, it took a lot. It took a lot um, support of government, excellent facilities. Like we also noted, I mean, we went away to play in some places and we were like, it's not good enough. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy with um, what we have done in Aqua United. I'm really happy with them. I think we are reaching from uh, what the investment that we have put in. Yeah, Ali, you talked about the fact that you know when we're talking about that the results were forthcoming and all that, and the pressure was on the coach. And you said, okay, if you're going to sack the coach, only by yourself. What did you guys now do? What did you do differently that time during that period and all that when you guys were under pressure from the fans? And of course, from other, uh, from journalists. I mean, so many people actually said, "Okay, you you brought all the top players you have in the league, assembled them right there in the club, and you brought." Uh, according to some people, we're saying Everton is inexperienced and that he won't be able to handle the team. But somehow, everything you know started uh, working out well. What did you guys do differently? That that is the difference. Um... Uh, I've been in this club for three years, and uh, all through those years, like I said, I mean, I came from a uh, journalism background with some, um, uh, how do I say, football management experiences, been to the World Cup, you know, the way it is done. We, it was really a trying time for us, but we had confidence in what we had. It, it's, it's not only about the coach, it's also about the minors, about the player. Uh, even now, there are times I just call the players, just the chairman and the players, and we talk, and they open up. You know, uh, three matches ago, I had to call one of my staff. I said, look, you're not playing in this. No matter how good you think you are, you're not going to play. Because there's, there was an element of indiscipline. And that respect has been there. There's a lot. There's a lot. Everton came. They saw some very good players. They thought he can play with them. That said, uh, when you have a starting 11 that's ha that has uh, six, seven new boys, it doesn't work for you. <laughs> we sat down. We sat down. There was so much pressure, even from the media. Yes. We took those criticisms that were very constructive. There are those just believe that you should fail, I mean, for whatever reason. So we took those, uh, especially, uh, I mean, I'm not saying this because I'm talking to you. Channels have been very, very constructive. Start the coach. I said, why should I start the coach? Suspend. I said, why should I suspend? I should be the one person. I'm the one calling the shots. I'm the one who is in charge. You know, discipline was key. Uh, get the best. Those players, the first four matches that we had line that we knew we were good enough before everything came. We, we, integ we integrated them and we had a lot of patience. And I tell you, I'll thank uh, my governor, my commissioner. They allowed me to run the shop. I mean, anytime they come and I said, look, we will come good. And then there was the God factor. And so for us, we believe God mm -hmm. that we have done the right thing. We have good quality players. They must be disciplined. The team must be run well. The players are entitled to men. Do your best and let them not uh, have anything to complain. If I pay you a salary as I went due, if I pay you a match bonus as I went due, you don't have a chance but to deliver. It's not something for a five-minute uh, television interview. We did, we did a lot. We did a lot, and uh, All right. happily we started getting the results. And today, here we are. Uh, like I said, I don't want the players to relax, but because we qualify, <laughs> we're going to we're going to, get today to get maximum points and then qualify maybe from as a first from the group. Okay. Uh, let, let me really ask you this before we let you go this morning. Um, before the start of the season, there was a target. Has anything changed? Have you had reasons to? modify your expectations or i mean like most club chairmen will say we want to play on the continent so what what is the target or you just one day at a time i don't know my my, my governor keeps on saying some, something that he has uh, touched the fa cup he touched the ITO cup he wouldn't mind uh, winning the league this club is <laughs> 52 years old uh we're going for the league title it okay. will not just be enough to qualify for africa we've done so twice um and then we, we run away from qualifying for the Confederation Cup. It, it takes you three matches to get a good stage. But with the Champions League, just two matches and you're there. So <laughs> why don't you go to Africa through the easy way? But brother, we have, we have a target. We want, we want to win the league. We know that what we have done, like I said, is just the battle that has been won. The war is still on. Um, the, 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 the playoff will be tough. I mean, mention Rangers, mention uh, Ayimba, mention um, the five right? The top things in when you get to the playoffs, that's when again the beauty of the playoff is that it's there for everybody to see. 
is that we have some social, you have home advantage, this is how you won, there was throughout the problem and everything. That would be true test. But our expectation after 22 years of Aqua United is that we thought and we think, we've been thinking that we should win the league uh, for the good people of Aqua Don't that have supported us, the assessment of the government, my commissioner. But that is our aspiration, that's our aim, that's what we are working at. All right. Paul Basi, want to thank you for your time, uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. We really, really appreciate it. And wish you all the best with Aqua United. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. My, my appreciation. All right. We will speak with the chairman of uh, Aqua United, Paul Bursi, also a veteran sports journalist, um, member of this sports fraternity. <laughs> and I spent a lot of time on this side, but it's on the other side now, and uh, uh, it's all good. All right, let's spend a few minutes we have left uh, to take a review uh, of uh, the papers. So, okay. uh, ladies first, Cecilia. Okay, I'll start with uh, Sporting Life here, and uh, what we have in Sporting Life, uh, built to snub Tottenham loan return. That's what you have in sports in life, okay? It doesn't want to go there. And still, this talks is still on. The money talks. My United wants $150 million for Paul Pogba. And Atletico Madrid are chasing a Cavani, Edison Cavani, mm -hmm. simply because their top players are leaving. Griezmann mm -hmm. is going. Diego Godin, of course, is leaving. Lucas also going. And uh, the big one is all about Nigerian Football Federation and also the Africa Cup of Nations, whereby NFF is looking for sponsors for the Super Eagles. Cash. That's what they want. Okay, all right. Uh, interesting <laughs> stories in our Let, Let's quickly uh, go to the, uh, the last people for review. That will be Complete Sports. Uh, a lot of uh, interesting stories in Complete Sports. Let, let's see if we can do that quickly. That's it. I'm interested in, <laughs> I'm interested in the top story. Uh, the, 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 the top story uh, right there, front page, Uzoho. Uh, I won't disappoint at 2019. Afco. You know, Cecilia, I've asked many people and I'm going to, Ask you yeah, this ask me, quickly right? uh, as, me on this uh, as we go. This guy was a goal at the World Cup. Does he still need to convince anybody? Um, he hasn't convinced me yet, but I think he doesn't have a choice. He can't, he, he dare not disappoint Nigerians because everyone has been thinking about the fact that you don't have a choice. So that's why he had Uzoho. Happens to be our best, according to coach Gennett Ball. And he's sticking with it. And because he's sticking with him, we also have to support uh, Uzoho and just make sure that right. at the end of the day, he is good. He put out his best performance and we get a good result precisely. So right. that's what it is. He hasn't convinced me at all. Uh, you know, he hasn't. Uh, let's go to Our Sporting mm -hmm. Sporting Sun. That's the last one here. Uh, the story here on the Sporting Sun making headlines in Father Abramovich uh, may sack Sari. Okay. That's a surprise. It's trigger happy, but yeah, trigger happy mean... club owner. So uh, it will come to me as a surprise if he does that. Okay. Another one is a court faces May 28 for Pinnick and others trial. That's the alleged fraud that had been mm -hmm. going on, that the story that's been going on for a while now. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to sell half of Man United squad, expectedly. And Barcelona preparing a £130 million pounds for Pogba bid. Griezmann <laughs> accepting pay cuts to play at Camp Nou. He really wants to win titles. He's yeah. really win the league title. That's the only reason he's doing this. If not, <laughs> okay. I don't think we'll be doing this at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, that will be a wrap. Uh, as far as the papers are, are concerned, of course, that will be a wrap on the show uh, as well. We, we really do hope that you've enjoyed everything we brought to you uh, today. Of course, we're going to do this again tomorrow. I mean, we're about it. Bye-bye. And I'm Cecilia Mogbe. Thanks for watching.